Good day everyone! Are you all excited to explore the hidden beauty of Cuyapo, my hometown? I am excited as well. But before that, let's do a head count to see whether we are all set. 1, 2, 3, 15. Great! We are all set. Let me first welcome you to the Water Lily Festival of the Philippines, Cuyapo, Nueva Ecija. On behalf of J Turista Travel Agency, I am JC Hart Navarro, but you can call me Ate JC or JC. I am your official tour guide today that will give you 7,107 reasons to smile. Before we proceed, I would like to take a minute to familiarize you to the area and tell friendly reminders and safety precautions so that our tour will be smooth flowing and hassle free. So please keep in mind all my reminders. First, synchronize your time on my time so that no one will get lost. My time here is 8.30 in the morning. Second, I have hear my whistle. If you hear me whistle once like this, it means we will going to light up at the front of our bus because we are heading to our next stop. Next, I have here with me a flag that I will wave so that you will locate me easier. Then I have here my emergency kit in cases of emergency. And lastly, observe body and body system. Walk in pairs so that no one will get lost. So we are about to start our very fun and exciting tour. Are you all guys ready? Alright, here we go! Did you know that Cuyapo is a first-class municipality in the province of Nueva Ecija, Philippines? According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 68,066 people. First stop, we have the Colusbo Hills. It is tagged as the New Zealand of Cuyapo. It is a massive if you are planning to visit the northern part of Nueva Ecija, located at Barangay Colusba at the municipality of Cuyapo. This place has a mind-boggling beauty that attracts hordes of travelers or adventure enthusiasts. With its picturesque landscape, hills, lake, and meadows located at altitude of feet that is bound to leave an everlasting expressions on tourists. If you are training for a big ride, this place is indeed perfect, making long distances for jogging, running, and cycling. There is much to see along the way. Nestor Lazo of the Cuyapo Bikers Club, who helped catapult Kulusba Hills to mainstream consciousness. You see, it was his team who discovered the spot back in 2011 when they were scouting venues for an upcoming mountain biking tournament as part of their town fiesta. This explains the winding trails you'll find among the hills. You can also have a sight of the majestic Mount Bangkai in the backdrop. You can purchase souvenirs at WM Bike and Souvenir Shop and you can enjoy great delicacies of Cuyapo from Tambayan ni Berto. Next stop is the Argamosa Farm. Argamasa Farm, a breathtaking 5 hectare property which promises to be very plant enthusiast dream destination and with elegant Balinese inspired huts surrounded by rows of trees and Lisbon Lake. Beautiful flora upon it, its wild lush gardens with pathways that lead to different clusters. Each packet garden has its own gazebo with different themes. The gazebos and guest villas in the farm are built with natural materials to better protect guests from the heat. The farmer's owners embrace the farm-to-table concept and the food they serve is grown organically. They also source produce from small farmers nearby as a way of giving back to the community. Before heading to our last stop, another historical site is the Apollinario Mabini Monument. Erected as a memory of where the exact home Apollinario Mabini is caught by the American soldiers. It is located near the residential area of Cuyapo. And now, we are at our last destination, Mount Bulaylay. 
Mount Belaylay, and Mount Bangkay, these towering mounds of rock and soil hold another new adventure destination in Nueva Ecija. As the current administration has signed into law the Republic Act 11406, otherwise known as an act declaring Mount Belaylay a tourist destination, a law that would appropriate funds to spur development on the new site. Mount Balaylay, towering at 286 above sea level, is a multi-peak mountain and holds zipline equipment with the ability to risk a tandem ride. The zipline platform is connected by a well-paved road from the main provincial road, and that is a good news. Going here does not require a grilling trek. Once there, you will be rewarded with a panoramic view of the Cuyapo downtown, the neighboring Mount Bangkai, the skyline of the Caravello and Cordillera mountain ranges. Adoring this beautiful landscape is the snaking tiplex where traveling vehicles seems like much bag size toys. What is best on this site also, you can enjoy a Buddha fight lunch whilst enjoying calming views and of course, fresh air. It is sad to say that this marks the end of our informative tour. Are there questions, clarifications, and suggestions? Just let me know. I hope everyone enjoyed and learned from our trip. On behalf of J Turista Travel Agency, I would like to thank you all for choosing us to be part of your unforgettable journey. I hope to see you again in your future tours. Enjoy the rest of your days here in Cuyapo and have a safe trip back home. Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, and kill nothing but time. Again, this is JC Hart Navarro. Thank you and goodbye. It is more fun in the Philippines. It is more fun in Cuyapo. Mabuhay!